Welcome back. This is your Feel Good Breakfast Show Expresso on SABC3. Thanks for joining us. Now, uh, planning for the future is a very, very important thing. So you might want to mark this date on your calendar, the 13th of April, 2029. <laughs> Why? Well, it also happens to be a Friday, if you're wondering. And an asteroid called 99942 Apophis will whiz past Earth at a distance of 30,000 kilometers, which is closer than some satellites uh, sure. orbit the Earth. Amazing stuff, right? So this week, astronomers met at the Planetary Defense Conference in America to discuss plans on how to observe the event and what we could learn from it. And we're joined, of course, now by our space expert, Dr. Daniel Kalama, to tell us a bit more. Good to see you, sir. Good to see you. Thanks Very for me. interesting. First of all, can we ask where did Triple Nine Four Two come from, and how big is it? You got so, to say the full name though. Apophis. Apophis. Yes, I missed out the Apophis. <laughs> triple Nine Four Two. Um, so, Apophis. so I mean, there are like hundreds and hundreds of thousands of these asteroids yeah. around in our solar system. They're all orbiting the sun. Uh, most of them reside in the asteroid belt between Mars and Jupiter. Mm -hmm. uh, but every now and again, through some sort of bump or whatever, they, they get out of orbit. So this one is orbiting uh, sort of within Mars's orbit, it crosses Venus's orbit, it crosses Earth's orbit. And as you said, on the 13th of April, 2020, 2029. It's a Friday. It's coming. It's a Friday. Friday the 13th. But maybe it'll be a lucky day. Um, it it's, <laughs> it's coming past us very, very close. I just realized that it is Friday the 13th. That's a bit scary. <laughs> so how big is this triple triple nine four two Apophis? How big is it? So it's 340 meters across. Okay. So wow. It's, just, it's pretty big That's as, pretty big. as yeah. asteroids go. So, uh, I mean, the nice thing is you're going to be able to see it. Mm -hmm. You'll see it. You'll be able to see it going across Quite the sky. Quite clearly, so, with the naked so you know, eye. Yeah, with the naked eye. So, like you know how you see a satellite going across the night sky. Yeah. You'll be able to see this thing coming past. That's incredible. Now is... I know you guys have been holding conferences. What are scientists planning on doing? Well, see, scientists just get excited about these things. <laughs> like it's 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 a chance to study something like at a, a distance we've never been able to see it, see it before. So we'll have a lot of telescopes trained on it. Um, just looking at how Earth's gravity affects it as it comes past, like it might cause some sort of disruptions in it, like the, the, the surface of it might break a bit and crack and things as it comes past us. Mm -hmm. So, so there'll, be a, there'll, there'll be a lot of studying of it. Um, and at the moment, they're proposing to send a couple of craft to it too. So, you know, it's coming very, very close. So yes. like, like you said, within the, the realm of so, some of our satellites. Yes. So if we can send something up to it, a little lander or something too, we can you know, we can really look at it very closely. Is there a chance one of our satellites could be in its pathway? Uh, certainly. Um, so at 30,000 uh, Ks, that's where the sort of geostationary satellites mm. reside, so satellite TV and things like that. Um, space is still fairly big, so there's a lot of, um, a, a lot of space for it to, to move past. Yeah. But um, yeah, it's, it's pretty close to us. Yeah. Like, but, but we, we're, We've been spending quite a lot of time trying to work out its exact orbit. Hypothetically speaking, if it were to hit us, um, w what could actually happen and how could we stop it? So, um, what, what could happen, is something this size is, let's say, a country killer. Um, so, it'll wipe out thousands of square kilometers. Um, it's it's big. Mm -hmm. uh, not it, it's it's not it's not a design not a dinosaur killer. It's not it, it wouldn't wipe out the whole earth. Yeah, then, not a big banger kind of thing. Then you need to get into the kilometer size mm -hmm. range. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. 340 meters would still, you know, wipe out a large country. Yeah, millions of people. Um, how to stop it is is tricky. Um, the the best thing to do is try and deflect it very slightly. Yeah. So if if it did look like it was coming towards us, uh, you try and send a craft to it that could either pull it or you know, like push it or, yeah. you know, ex like explode it or something so that it just deflects very, very slightly. I mean, we don't, we don't need to blow it up or, or <laughs> turn it around. Yes. It, we just need it to miss us. Just yeah. <laughs> sure. Um, As so. always, God bless the engineers and scientists. Eh? Absolutely. And that's oh. why we're planning now, right? Hey? You have to plan now that, that, for 2029. For, I mean. Like this is a great opportunity to It's, a, it's to a Friday the 13th, just, just mentioning it. Planning now for Nothing. 2029. That's in 10 years. Nothing's going to happen. That is in 10 years from now. Wow. Years. Amazing news. Dan, thank you very much for always keeping us up to date. Uh, you Pleasure. at home can let us know about which stories have caught your attention from the world of space travel and exploration. Please do so on our social media platforms.